Remember the day when we first met? You were shy like now. I remember that motorcycle. My best dress. You looked at me, and I knew. A Hidden Life tells the story of Franz Jägerstadter, an Austrian peasant farmer and devout Catholic who became a conscientious objector during World War II, refusing to serve in the German army. He became a village pariah and was ultimately imprisoned and executed in 1943. August Diehl and Valerie Packner play Jägerstadter and his wife, Fanny, who is left to care for their farm and their children when her husband is taken away. Their wrenching story has yielded Terence Malick's finest and most visually astonishing film since The Tree of Life nearly a decade ago. It's a movie that touches on many of the same spiritual and philosophical questions that have long haunted the iconoclastic director's work. How do we confront evil in a fallen world? And what do we do when God himself seems to fall silent. But A Hidden Life has a new and powerful urgency. It offers a withering critique of fascism and any religious institutions that would unquestioningly align themselves with it, a message that has particular resonance in this era as well as the previous one. A Hidden Life is a gorgeously expansive cinematic poem in the Malik tradition, but by the end, it also feels like a spiritual call to arms. I'm Justin Chang for the Los Angeles Times. Thank you.